Amen. Hallelujah. Can you begin to wave those lovely hands to God tonight? Please help me appreciate Him. He is the maker of the universe. He is the mighty one of Israel. Psalm 122 verse 1 says, Let us, I was glad when they say, Let us go into the house of the Lord. You mustn't be here to be in the presence of God. Wherever you are, you're already in the presence of God. Why don't you appreciate Him? A lot of people lost their lives this year, but you are still alive in the land of the living. Why not appreciate God tonight? Tell Him something sweet. He is the greater, greatest of all greater things. I appreciate him.
Spirit, thank you for joining us. Thank you because your presence will not leave us as the word comforts take preeminence in Jesus' name. Can we jam our hands wherever we are to welcome the servant of God? Oh, 
of our Father in the Lord, our Daddy, Pastor Dr. Damian Ozoro. Say may the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, before we start, as usual, we're going to take one or two prayers and then we listen to the Word. Join me to the book of Luke chapter 11, verse 21 to 22. Precious Holy Spirit. All right. Say, so when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divided his boys. Child of God, I hope you are aware that the life we are living is, is war. It's a battle of strength. They say when power jam power, the lesser power will bow. It's not just about talking. It's not just about praying. But what can your prayer do in the realm of the spirit? What can your talking do physically or spiritually? The Bible said in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4, he said, my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of a man's wisdom, but he said, in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Everybody can pray, but not everybody can shift things. Everybody can pray for change, but not everybody can command the change. 
the difference lies in the availability of power in your words tonight i don't just want us to pray just like that as usual but i want us to pray tonight with a difference prayers that is going to make an effect and cause a change prayers that's going to move certain things to your direction and it can only be done through power nothing can be achieved physically or spiritually without power at times while you pray 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 and it looks as if nothing is happening it's because you lack power Luke 11 where we read said a strong man where he keeps his things it is safe but when someone stronger than him comes meaning that if you are if you don't have a superior power than the one holding your thing you will still be in penury you will still be in captivity are you seeing why we are being delayed certain things that are holding what belongs to us they have refused to let go because we have not yet gotten the needed level of power to collect back what they have taken but tonight you are going to cry out to god say my father and my god my father and my god as I pray tonight, as I pray tonight, endure me with your power. 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 Fill me with your power. Fill me with your power. May my words carry power. May my words carry power. Open your mouth and make that prayer. Shata libra katabada basha. Ask the Lord to endure you with His power. I don't just want to pray like usual, as usual. I don't want to pray as you used to do, and it's like if things are still there. Let there be an empowerment. Some Something that can shift the enemy. Something that can bring the things I desire. Lika barakato zika barakatabaya. Fill me with your power. Fill me with your power. Endure me with your power, Lord. Lika badabasha. Legado zebra katabadasha. Fill my words with power. Tonight, fill my words with power. Legato barakato zika tegedisha. Are you praying? Kalabalagada balagadasha. Lika braka sukete gede gede sha. Lika baraka da ba lika ba da ba da ba da ba. Inka baraka tonsha. Lika ba da ba da sha. I want to settle some things tonight. I cannot do it without your ability. I need your ability to dislodge the works of darkness. I need your power to break every yoke. I need your power to shift the mountains. To bring down the mountains before my before. On my way to glory, I need your power. Shaka baraka to palaka tabada. Leke to baraka tabala gadasha. Leke te baloko to baloko dosha. Leke baraka tabala gadobo dosha. Leke baraka tabala gadabasha. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Power from above. There is power from above. As the power from above, there is power. Oh, I believe I receive the power. Come on, I say I believe I receive the power. The power from above. I receive the power, the power from above. Oh, sing I believe. I receive the power from above. If you read Genesis chapter 32 verse 10, Jacob said something that is very interesting. He said, I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan and now I'm become two bands. Verse 24. Verse 24. And Jacob was left alone and there arrested the man with him until the breaking of the day. Verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the whole of his thigh and the whole of his, Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. 26. 
And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except you do what? You bless me. I don't understand. In verse 10, this guy is blessed. This guy confessed, oh God, I am not worthy of the list of these your mercies. But how come in verse 26, he's asking for blessing? What is he talking about? Jacob, what are you lacking? Somebody might tell me, I have everything. Everything is just okay. I have this, I have that. Jacob had all those things. He had cars, he had children, he had family. He had business, going very well, doing very well. But yet, in verse 26, he was still asking for what? For blessing. What's that blessing? Look at verse 27 and 28. What was he asking for? And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob, 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but what? Israel. He said, for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and has prevail child of god if you don't have power even what you have will be taken away from you if you don't have power even what you have gathered you must use it tomorrow power is what sustains your possessions power makes you to have a sustainability in your rewards sustainability in your benefits without power anything can happen Jacob was crying. He said, I know you have blessed me with children. You have blessed me with cars. You have blessed me with house. Everything is just there. But I know if without this power, if I lack power, the enemies can trade upon my life. They can collect everything I've gotten. If I lack power, I cannot be a generational blessing. Hear me. I hope you know it was after this encounter when he was about to die. Jacob was able to position the destiny of his children. The one that pleased him, he exalted. The one that didn't please him, he brought down. Reuben was one of them. He made a statement that affected this guy so much. Why? Because he had power with God and with man. You are going to pray. Someone that has power can dethrone someone that has wealth. It doesn't matter how much you've got him. Just by the spoken word. Just by the spoken word. Have you not heard that even the world we live in was made by words? They're going to pray and say, My Father and my God. I can hear you say, My Father and my God. Fill me with your power. May I have power with you and with men. Open your mouth and make that prayer. Go ahead and pray that prayer. I have come to realize that without your power, the enemies can override me. Without your power, I can be limited. Without your power, I can be stunted. Without your power, I can go down. Jacob had power with God and with men. And Bible said he prevailed. I want to overcome every challenge that comes my way from today. I need that power. I want to prevail over every storm that come my way today. I need that power. Fill me with your power. There as I pray tonight, let there be a shifting. Let there be a breaking forth. Let let there be manifestations. Let there be signs and wonders. Let there be solution. Child of God, are you praying that prayer? In the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12 gives us how we can also obtain this power. Saying with a loud voice, verse 11, let's start from verse 11. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times. 10,000 and thousands of thousands. And saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain? To receive what? You see, the first thing that he died for, for you and I, is to receive what? Power. So the blood can 
actually deliver power to you. We're going to invoke the blood briefly. That so that as we pray tonight, it's not just praying and talking, but praying and seeing results. Say, my Father and my God, as I invoke the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus I receive the power of God. The power Let the power of God, power of God be, activated be activated in my life. In my life. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood. Anywhere you are, do it. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Open Jesus your mouth. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Second Timothy chapter one, verse six to seven. Pasha katabadaba. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stead up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Verse seven. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. It's a better power and of love and of a sound mind. Child of God, the power is inside. At times, it needs to be activated. You need to stay it up. It says, stay it up. We are going to pray in tongues. See, anywhere you are, you can pray in the Holy Ghost and stay up that power because we want to pray some acidic and corrosive prayers tonight. You are begin to pray in tongues and begin to stay up the power of God, laden, hidden in you, resident in you. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Stay up, stay up that power. I want to move some things. I want some mountains to be leveled. Let the power of God locked up within me. Let it be stirred up. Let it be stirred up. Pray the Holy Ghost. Yes, somebody, you are coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. There is power inside of your mouth. Power in your spirit. Come on, stay it up. He that prays in the Holy Ghost edifies himself. Power of God be activated in us. Be activated in our prayer. Parasia, 
Pale Cabosa, a 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 Pale Cabosa, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The first prayer point now, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16 to 17. Jeremiah chapter 30, 16 to 17. He said, Therefore, all they that devote thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. God is telling you and I that any man or woman that have touched you somehow, he said he's going to touch the person. Any man or woman that have denied you of your benefits, denied you of that which is meant for you, God said, I am going to revenge. Come on, somebody you are going to pray. Say, my father and my God. My father and my God. I can hear you. Say, my father and my God. My father and my God. By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the Christ, blood of Jesus whoever Christ. Whoever has tampered, has tampered with any area of my life. With any area of my any life. Any power. Any power. Any personality. Any personality. That has tampered. That has tampered. That has altered. That has altered. Any area of my any life. Any area of my life. By the blood of, by the Jesus, blood Christ, of Jesus Christ. Let vengeance be taken Let upon them. Open your mouth and make that prayer. Whoever has tampered with any area of your life, whoever has taken what belongs to you, whoever has accused you falsely, whoever has denied you of your right, your position, open your mouth. There is power in your mouth right now. Let vengeance. He said, I will devote those that devote you. Yes, 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 keep praying. That man that made you not to get that contract, that woman that made you not to enjoy your home, not to enjoy your family, that power that has kept you away from your loved ones, the Bible says he will devote those that devote me. I come against you by the blood. Let vengeance be taken upon you. Rakaparataya. I hope you are praying. Power is flowing. Any man or woman that has tampered with your star, tampered with your glory. Let vengeance, let vengeance be taken upon such person. That man that made you not to be in school. That man that made you not to be in your husband's house. That man that made you to live in penury. To be struggling. The Bible says he will devour. He will devour those that devour me. Raise your voice. Let vengeance be taken. Oh God of vengeance. Arise. Begin to avenge me. Begin to avenge me. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus Christ. That verse helps us to understand that it's possible for someone to be devoured. It's possible for someone to be a prey. It's possible for someone to be a spoil. That verse opens our eyes to know the dynamics of the enemy. That at times they can devour you. They can devour your opportunities. Your, your, your open doors will just fizzle out before your eyes. Who is doing this thing to you? We are going to use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wherever they are, say my father and my God. My my God. I can hear you say my father and my God. And my God. Any, power any power in form of a human being a human or, being. Spirit, or spirit, spirit that has deprived me, that deprived me of all that is due for me as I invoke the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Let Jesus. the blood of Jesus Christ locate and destroy them all. The blood of Jesus Christ locate them and destroy them. 
The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy Make sure them. You are praying. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, look, look at, at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. Yes. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus. Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Something is happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The blood of Jesus. 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 Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them. The blood last. Look at them and destroy them all in Jesus' name. Amen. How will they be delaying your life? Why would they cause you this pain? Why would they make your life such? Everything is just turning upside down. But I pray for you. Because you have invoked the blood. Any man or woman behind what you are going through. Any man or woman that have arrested, hijacked, have denied you of that which is due for you. By the blood of Jesus Christ, they are destroyed. Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ, they are arrested. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to pray Proverbs chapter 3 verse 20. He said, by his knowledge, the depths are broken up. By his knowledge, the depths are broken up. 
the clouds drop down the dew. From this verse, we can understand that if you want certain things to break, certain foundational powers, or if you want an open heavens, the secret to it is knowledge. At times, men are in darkness when they lack knowledge. Every greatness and every breakthrough has a secret attached to it. Every open door, every breakthrough has a secret attached to it. If you have not discovered the secret to that, you might be outside the place of glory. I'm going to pray. Say, my Father and my God, open my eyes and reveal to me the secrets concerning my life the secrets concerning my breakthrough the secrets concerning that which i'm believing you for open your mouth and make that prayer for yourself he said by his knowledge by his knowledge there is something you need to know that can help you deal with these foundational powers fighting you there is something that you need to know that can make the heavens to open over your your life over your business over your career and your marriage lord the Furnish me with such insight. Furnish me with such knowledge. Open my eyes, O Lord. Reveal to me that knowledge that can help me to handle this recurrent pattern in my life. That can help me to put an end to these powers fighting me now and then. Help me, Lord. Open my eyes to receive, to know. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At the point when Saul was harassing David here and there, David did something, and that was the end. First Samuel chapter 27. First Samuel 27 verse 1 when Saul was disturbing David every now and David said in his heart I shall now perish one day by the hand of Saul there is nothing better for me than that I should speedily escape into the land of the Philistines and Saul shall despair of me to seek me anymore in any coast of Israel so shall I escape out of his hand verse 4 now And it was told so that David was fled to God and he sought no more again for him. At a point, David had access to this knowledge. It was what settled the matter. Saul never looked for him again. Just because something, he had an insight. Let me just run away and go to another country. Go to another place. And immediately he did that. That was the end of the travels from Saul. I pray for you. May the Lord open your eyes and release the knowledge, the insight that will bring that which you want in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord open your eyes. But I've come to realize that some people, the enemy knows that if they, if they have access to such knowledge, their lives will change. So what does the enemy do? At times, they will block them from receiving that insight. That is where you see some people who dream and forget. Some people will not even remember whether they had a tree. It's as if the enemy wants to stop them from receiving that idea that can help them to break evil. Psalm 141 verse 6. Look at one of their strategies. Psalm 141 verse 6. He said, when their judges are overthrown in stony places, he said, they shall hear my what? My words, for they are what? Sweet. So, they cannot hear the words of God unless these judges are overthrown in stony places. Hey, who is that personality that has made you not to gain access? Not to gain access, have access to the secrets of your promotion, secrets of your manifestation, secrets of your family life. Tonight, the Lord will expose and disgrace them all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Join me and say, My Father and my God. My Father and my God. I can hear you say, My Father and my God. My Father and my God. Every power. Every power. Stopping me. Stopping me. Every power. Every power. Preventing me. Preventing me. From gaining access. From gaining access. To the secrets. To the secrets. About my life. About my life. About my breakthrough. About my breakthrough. About my lifting. About my lifting. By the blood of By Jesus blood Christ. Of Jesus. Let them be destroyed. Let them be, destroyed. Let them be overthrown. Let them be overthrown. Open your mouth and make that prayer. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Any power that comes, anytime you have a dream, they wipe it off. Anytime you receive an insight, you forget it. They know that if you can apply that knowledge, that something is going to happen. Let such powers be arrested. Let such powers be arrested by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood. Who is making you to forget your dreams? Who is making you not to even dream? At all. Who is making you not to have correct message from God? Overthrow their judges. Overthrow their judges. Overthrow their judges. Overthrow them now. Overthrow their judges. Overthrow their judges. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, my father, my God. My father, my God. Every power. Every power, every force, every force on assignment, on assignment to stop me, to stop me from gaining access, from gaining access to the mysteries, to the mysteries about my life, about my life, about my destiny, about my destiny, about my glory, about my glory. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, Christ, let them be arrested. Let them be arrested. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. Yes, the blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Making Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at them and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy him. The blood of Look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at him and destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ. Look at them and destroy them all in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody here. From tonight, may your eyes open. Amen. From tonight, may your ears be unstopped. Amen. Let your sensitivity come alive again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And not just coming alive, may you gain access to certain secrets that will give you a breakthrough. Certain secrets that will bring the fulfillment of your prayers into your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are the God of heaven and the earth. Lift your 
Lift your voice and sing, Cabiosio. 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 briefly last week we started with the topic when you don't understand God and I told us a couple of things that last week I will not run through it again you can get the tape or whatever 
But in 15 minutes, I'm going to summarize that topic. We are trying to look at cases when it looks like you don't know what is going on. You can put it like conflicting cases. To extend or to go further on that, I want to tell you, when you experience things you don't understand, it makes you become a man that people will not understand. When you experience things you don't understand, it makes you become a man that people will not understand. The Bible said the wind bloweth where it listed not. If men understands your results, they can stop it. If men understands how you make things work, the protocol involved, one day they can gang up and they can contain it. They can just stop it. But most of the times, God passes us through a process, a mysterious process, where you look at your life, you say, what is going on? I don't understand. David didn't understand his own. Somebody came and anointed him and said, David, you are the king of Israel now. The next thing you should be expecting is this coronation. We should be hearing that he's about to be inaugurated. But that was not the case. The next thing we heard in 1 Samuel chapter 16, I think, 1 Samuel 16, we heard that they sent for him to come and play for the dethroned king. How can you, how can you reconcile that? You have anointed me to be a king. The next thing I should be hearing is that the king is dead. But rather, I'm being sent to come and make him happy self. When life brings up issues like this, it looks as if God, I don't understand. Somebody is meant to be a healing evangelist. They have told you that. But up to now, it's as if even when you pray for somebody, instead of the person getting healed, the person dies. But you, but you have this confidence. This is what I've been anointed. I have been destined for this. Then what is going on? I don't understand. They've told me that this is the house. This is the money. This is something that you are going to be very great. But all of these things always lies in your dreams. You are even getting poorer the more. You don't understand. Hear me? When life brings that to you, God wants to make you a mysterious person tomorrow. Someone that is going to command exceptional results. When you don't understand God, what you are failing on today, the areas where you are failing on, is the same area you're going to stand on tomorrow. Any particular area that you find out that you are making a lot of mistakes, you are having repeated failures, sir, that same area is where God has made you to master, to be a master of tomorrow. Peter, the one that forsook Jesus, all of a sudden, Peter is standing before a crowd. Peter, the one that denied Jesus. All of a sudden, Peter is standing before the crowd. For the fact that you are going through the opposite in your life does not mean that you are not destined to solve it. For the fact you are going through the negative does not mean you are not destined and assigned to solve it. Where you are failing, the area you are failing, that is the same area God is going to lift you up. Imagine Moses. Moses that wanted to do the thing by himself. He was the deliverer. But he failed. Because of that failure, he ran away for 40 years. It was still the same area. God still used him mightily. It was still the same area. God still exalted him. Keep trying. Don't give up. God is on the throne. When you experience the worst that 
you don't want to experience, you get the best that you have ever wished to get. When you experience the worst that you don't want to experience, it creates the best you wish to experience. Job said, the things I greatly feared has come upon me. Many of us, we have wished, ah, let this thing not happen this way. Hey, if it happens, Kai, my life don't finish. If it happens, something is going to happen. What of it that thing happens? What of it that thing finally happens? Hear me, child of God, don't panic. David fasted and prayed. I think in 1 Samuel chapter 11 or 12, David fasted and prayed for the child that Bathsheba gave birth to him. Oh God, let him not die. He fasted for seven days. Let him not die. And then finally the child dies. How do we explain that? Why did you even allow me to fast? Does it mean that my fasting didn't work? What I feared most is coming to me. But look at his reaction. Look at his response. Many a times when you experience what you have feared so much, it's not the time for you to start lamenting. David went to the house of the Lord when he was told that the child was there. The Bible said he started worshiping God. He turned his sorrow. He turned it and leveraged on it to the glory of God. When you don't understand God, one of the things you have to do is to worship him. Instead of complaining, give him worship. The story made us to understand that after a while, the same woman conceived and gave birth. And God sent the same prophet. He said, this one is the one I love. He called him Jedidah. Anytime you respond or react positively to certain disappointments and setbacks, God gives you the best after them. What you are having now is not the best. But when the negative, when the worst happens, and you respond or react positively, you respond or react just about that time, something will break out. Just about that time, the greatest will come up. The best will come up. Jesus, God told him, this one, I love him. This one, I love him. Sometimes life brings us to that point where we don't get things the way we planned it. Somebody might be telling me, this was not the way I planned my life. This was not the way, I, I, I just planned that by this time I should be this, I should be that, I should be this. Somebody told me by this age, I never believed I would still be single. You don't understand. In spite of all your commitments, in spite of your dedication to God, certain things don't work out the way you plan. Think of Joseph. Joseph just left the house to go for an errand. An errand that can just take him like one hour, two hours or thereabouts. He never knew. That that will be the last time he will see the father for the next 20 something years. He just left unprepared. Many of us, we have encountered challenges unprepared. We have encountered setbacks unprepared. And we are asking God, what is going on? I never planned that my children would turn out like this. I never planned that by this time I will still be walking in this place. I never planned by this time I will just still be single or whatever. Or still be having this pain. God, what is happening? God, I should tell you that everything is in his control. The Bible said the heart of man devises his ways. But the Lord directs his steps. You might plan, but it's God that decides what happens at the end. So even when you are seeing certain things playing out, don't give up. God is still in charge. God is still in control. And he will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at a particular scenario. Mark chapter 1, verse 13. So I begin to round up. Mark chapter 1, verse 13. The Bible said, And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beast, and the angels ministered unto him. 
Now, if you are to be in this case, he was in the wilderness for 40 days. One. And Satan was there, too. And the white beast was there, three. And then angel was there. Come on. Is it not a confused arrangement? He's organized. How can angel be there? And Satan is there. And the white beast is also there. Angel, why can't you eliminate all these beings? Take them away from my life. But the angel was not there to eliminate or to handle the, Satan, the, the, the devil. The angel was not there to handle the white beast. The angel was only there to minister to him. There are certain conditions we find ourselves. We see Satan, we see white beasts in form of human beings. And we have been praying and saying, Oh God, eliminate and er take away all these things now. At times you find out that God does not just do it as you have prayed. They are still even, some of them will even be doing well more. And you are asking God, where are you? But I used to see angels. You have told me several things. The angel is not there to eliminate them. The angel is there to minister to you. Certain things will pass through. It's not because that God cannot handle it. No. But it's just because he wants to strengthen us, even in the midst of those things. Strength is built in the midst of battles. Strength is built in the midst of confusions. Power is released. Power is built. Somebody might look at you. Your life is scattered. Your life seems not to be doing the way it ought to. But you are telling them, I have God inside of me. And you are telling them that angels used to minister to me. You are telling them that I, I used to see visions. And they are looking at you. They can't compare what they are seeing with what you are telling them. They can't reconcile the both. It looks as if what you are, you, what you are saying is not... It's not in tandem, in tandem with what they are seeing in your life. But God has a purpose for everything. Jesus didn't say in that wilderness forever. A time came, he came out. And he came out with power. If you look at Luke chapter 4 verse 14. Luke chapter 4 verse 14. After that day, the Bible says, Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out the fame of him throughout all the region round about. It was that arrangement that produced the power that we all know about today. You are going to rise to your feet as we begin to pray. I don't know the conflicting situations in your life. I don't know when people look at you, they feel that, ah, are you even praying enough? Look at how things are still, everything, nothing is working. Are you even praying enough? Are you even trying? Child of God, don't listen to them. God is about to do something extraordinary through your life. God is about to do something great through your destiny. Don't depend on them. The first prayer I want you to pray, they're going to pray and say, my father and my God. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. The grace. The grace. The strength. The strength. To overcome. To overcome. Every trial. Every trial. Every temptation. Every temptation. That comes my way. That comes my Open way. your mouth and make that prayer. Shakata tata kata balakata badabasha. Leke braka sukata balakata badasha. Masi kabaraka tobelege de bodosha. Masi kele broko se kata balakata badabasha. Mante le kabraka sukete bolokotosha. I receive the grace. I receive the grace to overcome, to overcome every trial, every trial, every temptation that comes my way. I receive Bracata baraka to belegetesha, in baraka to belegetesha, in baraka to belegetesha, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Proverbs chapter thirteen verse twelve. Proverbs thirteen verse twelve. He said, "Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life." 
There is a way certain things will be delayed in your life. It's as if you are, you start doubting your faith. You start losing hope. It's as if you are, you are having heart failures. Because several things have been hanging here and there. No matter how spiritual you are. Even the Bible said in Psalm 125 verse 3. Think verse 3, yes. Psalm 125 verse 3. Say, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. 